Just over a month ago, Bowling Green Athletic Director Greg Christopher wrote a letter to Falcon fans saying hockey would stay for the 2009-2010 season. Since that time, the school still hasn't committed past next year, and since then, several players have left the team. Recruiting's obviously harder as the school decides what is the next logical step. On the ice, Bowling Green Hockey finished 13 games under 500, but off the ice is where they really suffered. Intercollegiate athletics programs uh, tend uh, to lose money. And when you're looking at subsidizing them from other sources and those other sources are drying up, you have to begin to ask yourself some questions. Those questions include whether or not a program that won the 1984 National Championship will survive past next year. Hockey gets the focus probably because it's a, it is an expensive sport to operate and let's face it, we are one of 13 schools in the country. Uh, that operates Division One football, Division One basketball on both men's and women's side, and ice hockey. How big of a priority is hockey here at BG? The intercollegiate athletics program is a priority for the university. And what we're doing is looking at the array of sports that are a part of that program uh, to make sure that we are uh, right-sized and that we can uh, direct the right resources uh, to doing the programs well. In other words, we know we don't have it inside our own budgets right now to be able to do what uh, we want to do going forward, and that means uh, that we do need some private support. That's part of the evaluation process split up into two committees, one focusing on the ice arena, the other on potential funding. We're heading into this whole process trying to find solutions. Uh, that said, I mean, these are unprecedented times, you know, financially and economically, uh, not just for Bowling Green Athletics, but for the institution, uh, you know, for the larger economy. We do intend to stay Division One. That means we must play at least 16 sports, and we do intend to stay as members of the Mid-America Conference. But whether or not those 16 sports include hockey... In general, you know, what I tell our players, what I tell our fans is be patient. You know, you know, you know, you know let, us, let this process work itself through. It's not going to take, you know, we don't believe it's going to take an entire year, but hang in there with us. The two BG committees come together in mid-May for preliminary meetings. Tune in tomorrow night for the second half of our focus on BG hockey. We spoke with Toledo Cherokees head coach Ian Duncan, who part of the 1984 Falcons that won the national championship. That's tomorrow night on The Blitz.